welcome back to my channel. Today is the release day of the new Memory Decks line at Scrapaholics Chipboard, and I couldn't be more excited. Tracy has been working so hard with this new collection, and let me tell you, game on. She, I, I mean, they're, they're really just kind of perfectly tailored to me. So <laughs> thank you, Tracy. Don't forget to head on over to the shop take a look at all the new release items but for right now i am going to share with you a few that i have created i will include a tutorial and there will be a giveaway at the end so stay tuned let's start off with the first one that i had done a sneak peek yesterday on instagram and open studio on facebook now this is the candy apple shaker look at how cute this is so this is the original chipboard. Now, if you don't do memory decks cards, that's cool too, because she's got you covered. So you also have just the shaker option available. And then this is the non-shaker memory decks card. This also includes a digital cut file, which makes it really, really easy to add pattern paper to your designs. I'm really, really excited about this option. All right, keeping with that fall Halloween theme, I used the Shaker Cauldron to create this Memory Decks card. It also includes some of the new word chipboards from the shop, as well as these cute little ghosts. Super, super cute. And as you can see, this is just the Shaker Cauldron that's available. And once again, you've got the Memory Decks card here. I love, love, love how this turned out. This one is not even a shaker, but I created one because, hey, with a digital cut file, you can do whatever you want, right? So I added, this is the, the cookie tray, and in behind the gingerbreads, I added some shaker bits, lots of fun layers. As you can tell, these Memory Dex cards are super, super thick and sturdy, and not a whole lot of time to create them. This one is the Ladybug. This will actually be included in the giveaway. One of the ones that she's releasing is this cute beehive one. I did not do the Memory Dex card yet. This is the Shaker Memory Dex card, and then this is also the um, non-Shaker version of it. I used just the Beehive Shaker to create this card super cute and fun as you can see here we have the gumball machine i did the shaker gumball machine as the memory decks using some sweet story fun and then this is just the shaker embellishment of the gumball machine and i use the prima 31 for this so as you can see this is just the memory decks card itself it doesn't include the shaker and this is the Shaker Gumball Machine. Lots of fun, right? Finally, I'm gonna give you a peek of the tutorial that I'm going to release a little later in the week. This is the cutest little VW bus that you've ever seen. Super fun. And then this is the bus itself before I've played with it, but I'm going to do a tutorial on the, the Memory Dex portion of it. So stay tuned for that. But let's get into the tutorial that I'm going to create for you now. So I'm going to do the mixing bowl uh, shaker memory decks card with you. And this is the layers to the FDC portion. So you have your back layer, you have two bowl layers. Uh, and this is just the outline to create the shaker. You have the acrylic piece, and then you also have this baked with love overlay. Now I have the digital file for it. So I've already gone ahead and cut out my pattern paper pieces that I'm used to go going to use to cover the chipboard. So you're gonna wanna cut the bowl of the memory deck shaker twice. Now, depending upon the cut file, you may have to reverse it um, like cut it horizontally. This one in particular, it lines up regardless of whether you reverse it in your uh, program or not. Uh, I use design space for this. Um, they cut beautifully as you can see. I also cut this uh, pink gingham for the bowl itself and that's going to be the background. And then I also cut this lightish mint color here um, for the outline of the mixing bowl. 
Now, what I plan on doing is just using some acrylic paint with this layer and then putting the green over top of it so that just the inside is a different color. Um, I was thinking about doing this out of paper, but then I decided that I think I'd rather just paint it. So I'm going to do it that way. And in fact, painting is where I'm going to start. Yeah. Chipboard is thick. So I choose to paint around the outside of the chipboard pieces because they do kind of show. Um, it's And it gives it a cleaner look, I feel. So I have everything painted for you. Um, and now it's just a matter of gluing. I'm using liquid glue for this portion and I'm just gluing up right on top. Like I said, I think you're gonna be really surprised at how quickly these come together when you have the digital cut file and the chipboard pieces. Now, one of the things that I really enjoy about these chipboard memory decks bases is not having to cut several layers um, with my Cricut. To make one of the typical MDC bases that I do, uh, I was cutting sometimes even, you know, five or six different layers. And I find all of the gluing tedious for that. And you don't have to do that with these bases. Um, all you have to do is, you know, cut out the layers and go from there. Now, for this portion, I'm going to glue the bases together first. The sequins mix that I am going to use is the sprinkles kit and it has some gingerbread, peppermints, and candy canes in there. I thought that would be a really cute compliment. I am going to add my acrylic layer and I'm just going to go around the chipboard. Now I'm going to go in with this layer on top and my final layer the pattern paper layer. Boom, that's it. I'm gonna set this aside to let it dry and I'll be back with the finished piece. And here's the finished product. Super fun. Love how this turned out. This is just a small mini spoon that I grabbed from Dollar Tree and some ribbon from my stash. I really, really like how this turned out. And it's fun, it's quick, and it's easy. Easy. I love good, quick projects. Here's your chance to win. This is a prize pack chock full of some of the new releases, some of my favorite goodies from the shop. So you are going to have a chance to win this uh, VW car, the bug. Uh, we've got a ladybug memory decks, and then we also have the bus, the VW bus memory decks up for grabs as well as this cute little witch, the Let It Snow chipboard, and it has all these fun little snowflakes as well. There are the ladybug chippies, super cute, some snowflakes. These I use all the time, and they are layered, so you actually get a total of six in here, and then of course these adorable pumpkin chipboards from the shop. Love, love, love. So how do you win? For an extra entry, share your favorite memory decks that you've ever created and post it on Instagram. Tag me and Tracy at Scrapaholics Chipboard in it and you'll get an extra entry. I can't wait to see what you're creating. Don't forget to head on over to the shop and check out all this amazing goodness that she is releasing today. And I will see you a little later in the week for a second tutorial. Bye.